Are you tired of your game crashing, freezing, or just any error that you get in Fortnite? Well, yeah, I assume you are. That's why you're watching this video. Today, I'll show you exactly how to fix game crashing forever and solve pretty much every performance and compatibility issue in Fortnite. So yeah, I want to make this as quick as possible. So let's jump straight into this. So the first thing, it's going to sound annoying. And more of what I tell you today will be slightly annoying, a little bit tedious. I'll make it as simple as possible. Don't you worry. But it's going to be optimizing your PC, just generally optimizing your PC. Now, it could be windows so you could go and optimize windows that's like first step that's like step one i've got plenty of videos on that so i will link them somewhere they'll be like down below so that's step one optimize your windows okay you've optimized windows now what you're gonna do is optimize your hardware so this could be you know your NVIDIA graphics card in your control panel settings your amd radeon settings intel settings i haven't really worked with that they translate if that makes sense so if you can't find a good intel one or a good amd one if, if you watch an nvidia control panel settings optimization you can kind of copy things there with you know a little bit of caution but i've got an nvidia control panel settings optimization optimization video i'll link that down below don't worry this isn't just a plug for you know all my other videos these are just again very important you don't have to go and watch mine i'm just saying you have to do them so yeah optimize your hardware then optimize your game so in-game settings that will involve some things literally in game so your video settings and also you know your game config that's how you kind of get into the back end of your game and you can fine tune things a little bit better there i literally made a video on that like two days ago again i'm not trying to plug guys this is just the truth now assuming you've done all that your you know, whole pc is optimized your game is optimized your launcher options are all good there's no you know issues there and you're still getting crashes it's really hard to get to the root cause all right listen up guys you know how much i've spent on my fortnite account and i know how much you hate dealing with overpriced game currency and sketchy exchanges we've all had our fair share of horror stories but i finally found the site i can trust it's called el dorado el dorado has completely changed the game for me every transaction on here is secure so there's zero stress about being scammed plus they have something called el dorado trade shield protection which means they've got your back every step of the way. I know we all want the best currency rates and with Eldorado, I get my game currency fast. Like in just a few minutes fast. They seriously have some of the lowest prices I've seen and I'm saving a ton compared to other places. And when it comes to in-game cosmetics, same deal. They've got everything you need to deck out your locker. And I'm not the only one talking about this. Check out these Trustpilot reviews. Thousands of gamers just like me are giving Eldorado top marks. It's legit. Their support team online 24-7 if you ever need help it could be 3 a.m they're ready to answer any questions and i've got a money back guarantee so it's pretty much risk free either you get your order or you get your money back simple as that so if you're tired of overpriced game currency and want a trustworthy place to safely exchange in-game cosmetics check out aldorado.gg it's my go-to and i know it will make a difference in your gaming just give it a try and thank me later all right back to the video so this is what i'm about to show you will kind of mitigate and solve everything what you want to do is search up local app data percent right here go into this file folder if it did not just come up you can type in run and type that exact thing in here you want to press f on your keyboard or just find fortnite game click into this go to saved go to crashes click into this folder and if you have any crash reports here just select them and delete them keep these top ones you may also have a folder in here called crash report client if you have that click into there and also you may see some crashes in there some reports just delete all of them as well and now once you have done that we need to find where fortnite is installed so what you do is just go into your file explorer go to this piece PC, local disk. Now, for most of you, it will be in program files. When you click into here, you'll find something called Epic Games. You want to click into there, and then you'll find this Fortnite folder. Mine, for some reason, is just kind of in here. It's just on my drive in my local disk. It isn't in the program files. So, yeah, once you're the Fortnite folder, you're going to go to Fortnite, Fortnite game. This will be the same for all of you. Binaries, Win64. And if you scroll down, you're going to find Fortnite client win 64 shippingexe You want to right click this, go to properties. Yeah, I'm going to go to compatibility, and you want to disable full screen automatic optimizations and run this program as an administrator you can also do change setting for all users this is very important because sometimes it will not do that and you know you haven't got the admin account and it will i don't know it will mess up so what you can do is click into this change it for all users and you want to run this program as administrator disable full screen optimization same thing just press apply press apply here and now try to launch your game if you're still getting an error code or an issue what you'll need to do is open up your epic games launcher click these three dots here go to manage and where it says verify files you want to verify now if if you're still getting issues your game is still crashing or if you want to just make like 100 percent sure that you never crash again and you don't even want to test it you now want to go back into here right click this go to properties and go back to compatibility and in this case turn off the run this program as administrator so just turn off that if you change it here as well turn it off mine's already turned off and if you now launch your game it should be all good but if it is not very very annoying i know you want to go to easy anti-cheat it's in the same file folder so right at the top easy anti-cheat you want to click into the easy anti-cheat eos setup and repair 
repair download. So it should say like a repair installation or repair download. Click that and this will fix your anti-G, which could be causing some compatibility issues. Now, if this has worked for you, you've tested your game, you will have to test your game at this point and you're no longer crashing. You'd think you're all good to go, but actually what you've done is verified your game. It's actually reset your game user config or your game settings. So you'll have to go back in. Maybe some things are on the cloud that have been stored there and they won't have changed. But for the most part, you will need to optimize your game user settings again, your game config, which I mentioned at the start of the video. So now that video, which I mentioned will actually be kind of useful. You don't have to watch mine again. I'm not trying to plug anything. You can go watch any game user settings optimization video. I just know that mine is kind of, you know, vetted. I know it's safe. I know it works. It's tested. In fact, in my discord server, this guy literally said today, he said, yo, thanks so much. It looks like bubble wrap builds and it's so smooth. So it worked for him. And now for anyone who is still stuck, none of this has worked. First of all, you're very unlucky. I'm so, so sorry. But now what you want to do is resort to Epic Games resources. Yes, they have official resources for this. They don't cover everything, everything I've previously mentioned. Although it did not work for you, unfortunately, you've got a bigger fish to fry. They don't mention that. They were exclusive tips and they've hopefully helped quite a few people, but it's their game and they know best from like a basic understanding. I don't want to undermine them, but anyway, but yeah, they have a troubleshooting kind of page, which kind of gives some tips. I'm going to link that down below. Go and check that out. And there also is technical support there. You can resort to that, but the first thing they recommend for these persistent crashes, persistent issues with your game is updating your drivers. Now that does not happen within Fortnite. That's something you need to do yourself. So these are your hardware drivers. That includes your graphics card. Your CPU may have some drivers as well. And these things will make a huge difference. I'm going to leave again a link down below. It's too long of a process to include in this video in particular. So there'll be a link down below, which will give you tutorial. Although it's long to demonstrate and explain, it actually takes like five or 10 minutes and it will probably save your game. Now, if your drivers are up to date, you want to make sure your computer services and processes are all in check. Now, if you did the first steps of this video and actually optimized your PC and watched some of those videos I recommended or just did your own research, you probably wouldn't be in this predicament. It wouldn't be an issue. But yeah, I just want to clarify that if you have loads of services and processes and background applications running, this could throttle your game and actually cause it to crash. So it will freeze and then crash. It's not like this isolated issue. There's things that are causing this. And honestly, any otherwise, it's probably down to your specifications. You know, how good really is your PC? Do you meet the minimum requirements for Fortnite? Now, per Epic Games themselves, they say that you need at least eight gigabytes of RAM in your system, as well as at least an Intel HD 4000 or AMD Radeon Vega 8, which is incredibly ancient graphics card. I honestly don't think people have PCs that are this, you know, I don't know. I don't want to be disrespectful, but like ancient, they're really old. But honestly, the truth is, even if you have these minimum requirements, yeah, you can open your game. Fortnite will launch, but it may not run well. If you have like, if you're just above these minimum requirements, you have a really low end PC, you probably just need to upgrade. There's only so many optimizations you can do. Yeah, optimizations work, but at some point, yeah, your hardware just will not run Fortnite. And I think at this point, if you still somehow, somehow have a problem, it's a whole nother complex issue. And honestly, I don't know if I can help you. I'm not a professional PC optimizer by any means. But if you hop into my Discord server and ask like particular questions, show me what's going on. I will do the research for you. I'll try my very best to help with the knowledge I already have. I also know some people so I can maybe ask for you and forward your message. But yeah, I don't want to make any promises. You're probably better going to someone like Zilli or Corvi who do, I think they sell their services where they will do like kind of look into this stuff and they are like tech experts. So shout out to them. You can check out their YouTube channels. I'll try and link them down below or kind of reach out to them on Twitter or Discord. They have Discord servers. I think that's where kind of they do most of their support stuff for computers. But yeah, you know, definitely don't reach out there if you have, you know, this really low end system and you just meet the minimum requirements. I'm telling you, your issue is the computer. That is the problem.